Most popular question people are asking me is, Yale, are you a faggot? Then the second most popular question is, Yale, how do you install LED in your custom minifigures? Well today, that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys. So, hey guys, this is Nine Seven Lego Maniac, and this is another tutorial, and it's one you guys have been waiting for, because um, I asked you guys, what would you want to see on uh, my Instagram poll, uh, LED tutorial, or a customizing critique? And, surprisingly, I expect a landslide victory for, uh, for LED tutorial, but there were quite a few of you, it was almost like 50-50. I think it was like 60 or 40, something like that. So yeah, this is an LED tutorial. Now, I just want to say this right off the bat. L installing LEDs in minifigure isn't really that difficult. There is no engineering or t anything like... You don't need like an engineering degree in order to get this right. Anyone can do it. It's just the... You just need the right amount of materials. And you just need to... You just need to install it properly. Like get the LED in the figure. So that way it can be functional. Now you've seen my LED figures before. My first one was Cyborg. That was my first attempt of making LED figure. Then you guys see my Danny Rand Iron Fist. That one I took a different approach with a smaller LED. Then you see my Savitar figure, which a lot of you guys uh, enjoy, and, and you and you guys consider my best figure in general as probably the best figure with LED. And, and I'm glad you guys like think that, and I'm glad that's getting, that videos get got a lot of praise and popularity. Thank you, thank you for that. It's like the second most popular video on my channel, which is awesome. And the other one I'm working on with LED is uh, uh, Iron Spider from uh, from Avengers Infinity War. And I think this one's my favorite though, because of the light up eyes and the fact that even uh, the eyes aren't light up, uh, you, the eyes still look white because it's a glow in the dark head. And my next figure I'm working on, which I have right here, is Killmonger uh, with the orange LED. And I'm planning on doing the same thing for Black Panther as well. So that means this this Black Panther figure I made uh, for Infinity War, I this one's gonna get scrapped, or maybe it's gonna get its own video. I don't know because <laughs> I'm just gonna install LED on this guy. So without further ado, let's continue on with the rest of the tutorial. All right. Obviously, the main thing you want is a uh, minifigure. Now, for this one, since I'm making Black Panther, I will use a transparent minifigure base. Now, for these transparent minifigure base, I usually get mine on eBay. For some reason, they're not on eBay anymore. There is another option. There, I found some on Amazon. So just look up like transparent figures on Amazon, and if you can't find it, go to this website called AliExpress. They do. A, they have a lot of knockoff minifigures, and they have some pretty unique stuff. You can find like transparent, like um superhero figures and you can use those as a base if you want your figure to light up fully just like what I did for Savitar and what I did for Killmonger. Now for figures like Cyborg, you don't need to do that because what I did for Cyborg, I will take them out here. You can see that I pretty much hollowed out the inside of his torso and so so it doesn't you don't really need a transparent base. So there we got there we have that. And for Spider-Man, Spider-Man is pretty much the same thing, same thing with uh, Dan Rand, but if you want a figure to light up fully it's better to use a clear, transparent knockoff. So I highly recommend that you guys use that instead. So now, obviously, you're gonna need batteries. Now the batteries I use, I think they're called, go to, if you go to your local Target or Home Depot, uh, find some watch batteries that are this size. So, so here I have these watch batteries, if you guys can see, see here. These watch batteries, I believe the, the serial number is like 377. You need two of these to power the, L, to the LEDs. Because LEDs uh, usually power like, at least like maybe two to three voltage. Here are some in particular. And now once you have your battery, but I'm going to use this battery for a test. For a test. To see like what colors I want. So, and obviously you need some LEDs. Now the LEDs I bought, I bought like two different pairs. This one, it was the 100 pack. Well, uh, for at least like 10 LEDs each. I have the small LEDs and the larger LEDs. They're like, the one of them is like a three millimeter in diameter. The other is like five millimeter. And I think I got this for around 10 bucks on eBay and for free shipping. So LEDs are actually really cheap. You can find these LEDs, just look up like five millimeter LEDs on eBay, you're bound to find some. Now these cost like 20 bucks. These are the, these have 10 different colors. And, but there's like 50 of them each. So I have a shit ton of LEDs here. And obviously I don't think I'm gonna use them all anyway, so I'll probably consider selling some. So as you can see, you've seen that, you can clearly tell which color these are. For these, we have stuff like red, we have blue, orange, which I'm using for Killmonger, yellow, there's yellow green, there's warm white, and there's normal white too. 
And on top of that, we also have purple. I checked out the purple. It's actually more blue than anything, so I'm not sure if that's a mistake. But his Black Panther suit does kind of glow a little bit bluish. It's like bluish violet, something like that. We also have pink. If I want to make the pink panther, I don't know. That'll be a funny custom. And then we have green. Now, we're going to test out this purple LED so I can show you guys with this battery. So you can see here. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of purple, I guess, uh, but it looks a little bit more blue. If you can see here. Once I turn off the lights, you can kind of see. Uh, it. I guess it's sort of purple, but I. It looks a little bit more blue though. This is the LED we're gonna use for Black Panther. So that's really how LEDs really work. All you just need is a battery and LED, and you just stick them together. But how do you fit it in a minifigure? Here's what I do. First of all. If you notice it in any minifigure torsos, there's always some stuff inside. What I do first, I use an X-Acto knife and I carve that out. So any minifigures here, I'll, t I'll take a random one for example, I'll destroy my Superman for you guys. You can see there's, you can see inside the torso, you see all these like, um, this molded plastic in that. You have to cut them all off. And once you do that, and once you do that, once you can get rid of everything, you haul out the torso, you're gonna have to cut away parts parts of the outside just a little bit, so that way the battery can fit in as well. Because yes, while um, the LED can fit in, it's just but when you put in the battery, the wires will kind of get in the way, so you're gonna have to haul it out just like a little bit more. And once you do that, you're, what you do next, you have to pretty much like cut away the neck part. Because the only way how to make your minifigure's head glow is, is only if the LED acts like a replacement for the, for the neck piece. Because you can see here, well, the, the, the clear LEDs I have, they don't really fit in the minifigure head very well. They're kind of tight. But it does, it does work. It, it does work for the most part. So you can still turn it and all. And once you do that, like, uh, I'll, I'll already do my a little bit of work here. I will remove these arms and I'll show you guys what to do. So just like what I did before, like what I said before, you have to like cut away the stuff on the inside. You don't need a Dremel for this actually. It's actually fairly easy. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do it and we'll continue with the video. And once you're done carving out the inside, what I do, I use the tweezer to grab out, to pluck out the remaining plastic. So you just use your tweezers and just remove all the excess plastic off and toss and throw them away because they're trash now. Now you want to make sure the, the batteries could fit in, so I'm going to put these batteries in right now, see if both can fit at the same time, and it looks like it can. So I think we're good to go to move on to the next stage. Now the next stage you want to do is to cut off the, the neck area here. You can easily do that with an X-Acto knife. Just be very, very careful for because X-Acto blades can be sharp if you replaced it with a new one. Be sure to change your X-Acto blade if you're going to cut something like this because you do not want a dull knife. That is a, that's not safe. It's actually, <laughs> it's, I, I think it's more unsafe to use a, a dull X-Acto knife when you're cutting stuff than using a sharper one. Because with, at least with a sharper one, you can get you can cut things pretty easily, you just have to be very careful with it, you cannot be too careless. Did, oh yeah, did you know, this is actually a fact, the majority of accidents in workshops are from non-powered machines, like X-Acto knives. X-Acto knives are actually the, the most common like um, accidents in the workshops. I know this because I learned this in Human Factors in, uh, in class, so that's actually pretty knowledgeable. Now, once you do that, you, you want to drill a hole through this. Now, I use a drill press at my school, I'm not gonna bring the camera. I don't feel like walking to the drill press. But once you get that, you will. You should be able to make. You should be able to get a, a, a decently sized hole, such as this right here, with Killmonger. Now, the next step you want to do is you want to make sure you trim the LED, so that way it could actually fit in the minifigure. Be sure to know which one's the positive, which one's the negative. The negative is always, always a, is always the wire that's longest, and the positive is the one that's that's actually short. Now. For the battery, the negative side is always the flat side, and the positive, is, and the positive is always this like this like, little plateau bump here, and when and that way, when you when you apply these batteries together, you see it works. So you want to make sure you want to do the same thing, and make sure you bend the wires so that way, the battery can actually operate like that. 
Now, you cannot combine two different color LEDs at the same time. That's gonna in fact, that's actually gonna involve a little bit of an engineering work. You need some resistors, you need wiring, you need all those fancy equipment. And if you if you don't know anything about that, uh, don't ask me because I I'm honestly don't know myself. Now, you're gonna need a pair of wire cutters, these little uh, pliers, to trim the LED. So that's what exactly what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna trim this to make to give it the right size, making sure I know my positives and negatives. Cut them. And you can see, there you go. I still have negative and I still have positive, so I know exactly what side, uh, which side, side should go where, you know. Making sure I bend. Now the next step is to make sure I bend these wires very carefully because these can sometimes snap. It happens multiple times with the sideboard into something like this. And once you do that, you can, you're can you able to fit the LED inside uh, like a torso once you once you actually um drill a hole when you drill the hole make sure it's at it's the exact diameter of the led or just a slightly bit less if you do it a bit more it's going to be super loose so when you turn the minifigure's head it's just going to move the led around you do not want that at all and also if it's a bit too short and it wouldn't seem like a fit Simply all you need is a circular file or sandpaper and just carefully sand the circle around it so, until it do. And once you do that, you should be good to go. Now this one should be the purple one, so let's see if the battery can fit. Yeah, and the purple works. And be sure to be sure to make sure you buy a handful of these when you're using it for an actual minifigure, but I would use this for a test to make sure. You, if you have dead batteries, use those to make sure, oh, the, the battery can fit in before you actually try out the, the before you actually test out the LED, so that way you won't waste battery life, because you can do that. I waste a lot of battery life. I, this is like the, what, the fifth, fifth battery I have to buy because I wasted it all on Cyborg and Savitar and the other LED figures I, I showcased at Brick Bear. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> now to install the LED, I, what I always do, I always make sure the positive side of the LED is always on, located on the front of the torso. So I carefully place that in right here. And now I just get the, the plier and carefully push it just like that. Make sure you, you tweak it and make sure uh, that the, the positive and the negative side of the LED, the LED, the wiring is exactly perpendicular. So like that in a straight line. So that way when you install the, when you insert the battery, it'll be a lot easier. Now the next thing, now the next problem is how can you get the battery to fit? We've got the LED done. We ha we have the neck. We got everything. What's the next step? And then and then look, the head can find can rotate just as fine, and the LED does not move from the bottom. How can we fit the battery? This is what you do. As you can see here, I've done this for like figures like Savitar. I did it for Iron Spider. I'll bring Iron Spider for example. That they all utilize this same um, leg pattern. Now this is what a normal minifigure leg should look like. All you really need to do is cut a diagonal, like just like that, on the minifigure leg. And I'll do that right now. You're done you should have something like this and now you want to test out the the battery and the LG so I'm gonna take out the battery once again and you want to and you want to make sure the reason why you want to do this is because well first of all you still want the leg to attach to the torso and second you don't want the battery moving around an empty space of the torso so doing this way it keeps the battery in place so that way when you insert the, the the, LED, the, the torso with the LED, it should be able to work just fine. As you can see here, it's kind of it's kind of twitching a little bit here, but then you're good. So that's pretty much my LED tutorial, guys. This is the basic. It's it's probably not perfect, and when you want to remove the battery, you just need to get something to pry it out. Uh, so that's it. 
pretty much for the LED tutorial. It's not as difficult as you think. The the it's just the main question I think you guys are wondering is how how was I able to fit the LED in the battery? But now you know. So now whenever you you want to make your own Iron Spider, you want to make your own Savitar, you want to make any or Iron Man because I'm planning on doing this on Iron Man as well. I'm actually working with Android BXT uh, to make an Iron Man collaboration. If you want to do something like this, uh. Yeah, just let me know. Uh, I'm trying. To, I'm just rambling right now, just so I can showcase an Iron Spider a little bit. Oh, I can. I see this. One of the LED wire moved a little bit. All right. So uh, that's it. If you guys have any other like um, tutorial you guys want me to make, or if you guys have any more additional questions than LED that I did not cover, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Iron Spider isn't working. And screw you. Uh, that'll be it, guys. I'm not gonna ramble any longer. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you find this helpful. My next showcase video for custom minifigures is going to be as the chief felt, the Nomad Cap and White Wolf. Uh, I did not make an additional shield for uh, Nomads because I just don't care. I think it's good enough. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Sorry for not uploading tutorials in a very long time. Just been busy with school, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. I finally got him. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we can conclude the video.